In this tutorial, we're gonna show uh, how the new plugin uh, OSC Unity 5 Master works. So, after downloading it from the GitHub uh, and opening a new project uh, in Unity, uh, we'll just double click on, uh, on the OSC Unity 5 Unity package so to import the asset. And um, here I've created a new scene. In this new scene, I've added an uh, uh, empty object, empty game object. I've named it OSC Connection and I've added uh, one of the scripts that comes with, uh, uh, with the plugin, which is uh, OSC Connection, which you find here. Um, this OSC Connection uh, basically is a script that uh, allows to listen from ports, an OSC port, uh, internal from, internally in the computer or externally from uh, a Wi-Fi network. And uh, the port we're going to use here is 8000. Um, this is the same, that has to be the same of the, of the software that we're using to send uh, OSC from. In this case it's VDMX5. Uh, which have set in the OSC parameters uh, and output ports this port named OSC to Unity and uh, with the same port number so now uh, second thing we need to add uh, the receiver game objects that we want the parameters to be modified um, we have added two uh, size 2 elements and I've drag and dropped uh, the objects that I want to uh, that I want to be changed uh, parameters that I want to be changed so these are point lights uh, which is here and sphere which is here now um, if we go into the single objects then in this case is point light uh, I've added uh, another script that we have in the plugin which is OSC Animate Light which is this one uh, which works with pretty much any of the lights uh, that we can uh, add in a scene uh, let's say like points light is the one that has almost all the parameters linked already uh, these parameters that, that we can change are named here in this, uh, in this menu we can change, which, uh, which we can select. Uh, in this case, I want to change the intensity of the light. Uh, save this uh, scene, and, and we need to put the same name uh, of the address, message address, that we have uh, in in our uh, sender um, patch. So in this case, at Nvidia Max, you put it here. The message address and uh, and let's try if it works so just press play uh, here max see that the light now the light parameter is changing accordingly the um, good thing of having this uh, parameters uh, uh, we can change them from outside is that, for instance, in uh, video max, I can change uh, the minimum and the maximum uh, values, which can be like three, let's say, and I can change it just up to three. So uh, when we build a program, uh, in Unity that uh, has all these parameters mapped in OSC, we can always change the range not from uh, Unity itself, so we don't have to like re-export, rebake the, the program, but we can just change all the parameters from from uh, the software we use to send us. Um, this was just one of the uh, uh, scripts that we have uh, linked to the light. Actually, yeah, here we can change color, uh, range, so other parameters. Now we can uh, change loads of other things, like uh, the sphere. So we have the sphere. We can change, for instance, um, if we use an animate transform, which is one of the other uh, 
at the scripts that we have. We can change um, position, rotation, and scale. In this case, of position X, uh, I'm using another uh, slider of my, of my patch uh, in VDMX, which is slider 2, slider 2 name here. And I'm just playing. And now, as you can see, I can move my sphere and also the light. Good. Mm. Another thing that we can do with this with the scripts is uh, um, animate transform, animate light. Uh, we can, if we um, add a material to our sphere, for instance, uh, so I create a new material, we name one. And we give it like a uh, red color. And we create another material. Two. And this time put some metallic and we use like a green color. We can change uh, parameters of the materials also. And let's go in this case in the object that has a materials in so we put it up first into the sphere add component uh, OSC uh, well let's do this first um, animate standard material uh, animate standard material allows us to change parameters the parameters pretty much all the parameters that we can uh, that we can see here in uh, uh, in the material uh, uh, window. So we'll have albedo, metallic, smoothness, and all of this. For one styling and offsets, uh, emission. In this case, we can just change the albedo color R, and the message address. In this case, it's going to be uh, slider three. And let's check how this is working now. Uh, this is the third slide that we have, and as you can see, I'm changing the color. Last thing we can do with this uh, with this plugin is to change uh, the materials. So in this case. Um, we we'll just put a new um, script to the sphere, which is where see change material. We can put a size uh, to two, which gives us a uh, possibility of adding two different materials. Just one, two. And right now, uh, naming this slider. Uh, sorry, to Unity slider three. Uh, slider three. Okay, this Nvidia Max. Let me check. Yeah, uh, slider um, change mod. Sorry, I'm just copying the message directly from Nvidia Max. And now, uh, while running a patch, we should be able to change also. The material. Um, as you can see, by sending uh, integer numbers. So, in this case, I'm sending floats, but the same. You can go from one material to the other. There's pretty much no uh, limits to how many materials you can put in. You can put in maybe um, 200. Yeah. Exactly. So this allows you to, I mean, do pretty much whatever you want when changing materials. So this is it. Um, and uh, goodbye.